ready for stage eight is 340k I think and then a 380 liaison so a long day I've got a bit of luggage I've got my bag with me today because they're not taking the liaison kit uh, to the end of the stage and I'd rather be hot and struggling the stage and warm on the liaison for 380k's um, than, than uh, struggle cold on that cold ride especially if it gets dark which it probably will uh, sometimes sometimes the liaisons are actually tougher than the stage because there's not a lot happening you just cold long straight roads but uh, is what it is one more day and then we have a rest it's called a rest day but it's not really for me I, it's a non-riding day there's a lot to do with the bike and stuff but we're over halfway now I think so it's all good it's not all good but it's getting better <laughs> we'll keep keep pushing on and I'm laughing because if I didn't laugh I think I'd cry and there's a few grumpy faces tired faces everybody Everybody looks like they need a rest now. just finished uh, stage eight another one down and uh, done so I say just finished we've got uh, the stage is done and um, they like put food and that on we just had something to eat but uh, it's, a, it's a rest day it's a rest day tomorrow and um, it's well I, I they call it a rest day but it's it's a non-riding day uh, I've got work to do on the bike with just give it a good service and look over really it's um, been good so far and I want to try and keep it that way but uh, though those who watch the or have been watching the results or times etc but I've had to go a bit slower because on stage five a hundred kilometers from the end of the stage I crashed small crash but landed bad and um landed funny on my shoulder and uh convinced i'd broken my collarbone i finished the stage like 100 kilometers to the end uh, and could feel the bone moving and uh i genuinely thought i'd, I'd uh it was bust and um it was the rally over because it was so painful like i was in tears riding back and um anyway made the mistake of getting in the ambulance from the end of the stage back to the bivouac and um, that's given me a, like a big six hour penalty but <clears throat> anyway uh, I went back got an x-ray and turns out it's just it's uh, I don't know the medical term but the my my collarbone was, is dislocated from where it meets the shoulder so so uh, the doctor said it was right for me to ride if I could could so um he said it's not not broke but uh anyway so they strapped me up and give me some tablets and we've done i've done two good days riding now but just uh i just have to go slow i can't i can't uh it hurts i can feel it a lot so um but we can get to the end and that is the goal so um sort of a day off tomorrow 
reset and go again for the last bit. We're well over halfway now, so nearly there. Just got to keep going. And I, I honestly haven't had much time for to look at any messages and stuff. I know there's a lot, so I will get back to. But uh, the support, I believe, is pretty overwhelming and um, it's definitely driving me. So thank you, everyone, for the support. Uh, I'll keep doing my best and uh, get to that finish line. <laughs> so what's it like in here? Uh, cozy, cozy, but uh, eye-opening. I think I definitely feel safer than a motorbike, for sure. I don't know about comfortable, but uh, tempting. <laughs> yeah, nice, incredible car. One day we'll get you in one, okay? <laughs> Io sono qua fino a stasera. the end of rest day, nearly the end of rest day, it's quarter past seven. Hopefully the noise behind isn't too, uh, isn't too much and you can hear me okay, but um, I had like aspirations today to maybe relax a little bit and do some videos. I wanted to talk through my toolbox and, and my kit and stuff, but um, I don't know where the day's gone, you know. I was up at up at seven and had breakfast. I spent maybe 20 minutes, half an hour at the BRX team, with a had a coffee and kind of, but other than that, I've just been cleaning and working on the bike and the day is gone. So I don't know what happened, but push. it's almost easier riding. Uh, you know, I think it's a rest day for the, the riders in teams and the car drivers perhaps but in this class is no way a rest day it was tough oh god right I can't even remember where I'm at with videos so hopefully uh, we'll figure this one out that it's uh, today was stage nine we're a fast long fast stage 360 kilometers high average and bit sketchy in places because at high speed it's so hard to spot rocks and uh, I reckon a few people got would have got hurt today it's easy to make a mistake 
um, but luckily I didn't, no crashes, bike stayed upright uh, and um, yeah, still getting over yesterday really, it was, was supposed to be what they call the rest day, get this light out of the freaking thing and hopefully the sound is okay because it's hard to escape, this might be better, here, here, yeah, it's hard to escape uh, noise here. Uh, yeah, yesterday was just manic, really, even though uh, there was no riding. Probably spent too much time cleaning the bike, but I that was something I wanted to do, just to inspect everything and go through stuff, check things were tight. There were a few sort of factory bolts that had come loose, so it just shows. So I removed and re tighted and uh, torqued those. And the, now the thing's just covered in crap again, yeah. so today was messy, like that. completely, I see it was a waste of time cleaning it yesterday, but uh, I, I uh, had a good look through so and found the bits I did, so it's sort of not really a waste of time, it's just frustrating, so now it looks like a pile of shit again, but it was, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm a bit like, confused with time and day and location lines. The um, so so now is uh, the bike's done I had some aspirations that's where I was going so yesterday was the rest day and I wanted to do some videos of my toolbox the kit I use and stuff like that which all went out the window to be honest because it just my time and day was spent uh, doing the bike which is obviously more important uh, so hopefully, possibly, later in the rally I will get a bit of time to do something, but uh, I also, I can't remember if I've done a video yet on on this camp where we're at, so when we arrive at camp we get uh, a mat and our toolbox laid out, so we ride up onto the mat like these, these bike car, some people are still working. Um, uh, you do your work and then, because we're moving bivouac again tonight, uh, the bikes that are ready get lined up here and tomorrow the first bike is 340 so it's an early start uh, doesn't bring me much excitement if I'm totally honest at all but um, it's another step closer to that finish line so we keep going but uh, yeah so I'll show you around a little bit more this is one of the quad guys doing melee there's some boxes that are finished with, packed up, two boxes they get on the pallet and then put on these trucks. All the motor product which again I think I've said already but I'm absolutely fully abusing the the free product and using far more than I probably need to but it, uh, it's doing a good job and keeping the bike working. There's some sort of communal tools around uh, to use. And when you when we come back from a stage uh, some guys like hang their kit up here, which I, I didn't, I just prefer my tent, but these grey grey boxes, like behind the tent line, they have tent your tents, sleeping bags and kit bags, so literally um, you find your, the tents have got your numbers written on, you get, find your tent, set it up, throw your kit bag in, make your bed, and uh, that's basically it on repeat for the durations apart from obviously when we stay over at one bivouac we can leave it all set up until we come back the next day but we've literally set that up tonight i was so tired today on stage nine that uh coming back i actually got a speeding penalty or at least one because i've got i've got to, i had eight minutes added to my time which is a little frustrating but if i'm totally honest i'm not here to win i didn't really care i just wanted to get back so badly and Went straight to bed and slept for two hours because my tank was just completely empty. It's now uh, seven o'clock. Um, I've got my shower bag. I'm gonna go and get a hot shower, some dinner. Um, and then it's, uh, oh, I just need to sort some tires out for tomorrow. All the tires live in here in a rack. I'll just show you quick. So um, see the riders numbers. So we have tires and mooses and stuff mine is here and I'm hoping I've got a new front already should be in this bag 
yeah, so I've got a new front and some scrubs. So I need to, I need to change my scrub rear. Uh, there's another team. I've paid another team to carry my other spare tires because you only get in this truck allocation for one pair of wheels and one spare set of tires. So you have to kind of buy space in other teams' trucks. Um, so I need to go and find that team, pick up my tires, and um, yeah, get that sorted. Because tomorrow there's a long liaison, not quite a short stage, but tomorrow's prep is quite important because uh, the next day is the marathon stage so whatever goes on the bike stays on the bike for two two days so I just want to be a, ahead of the game ready for tomorrow so anyway I'm waffling on but I'm gonna go because I need to sort the tires and get shower eat and then sleep so I'm gonna go thank you